Hey everybody and welcome to this special on the new moon that happens on August the 16th at 10.38 GMT while British summer time which sort of happens when the moon is void of course between Cancer but it doesn't actually move into the constellation of Leon to 12.38pm so it's a new moon in Cancer but actually it's in void of course so it's like a Cancer Leo course new moon so it's got the energies of both so when the moon is a void of course in cancer this signifies a period of transition and reflection as the moon moves between the signs in this case cancer and leo void of course means that basically it's not making any major aspects like conjunctions or squares but it may make some by quintiles with other planets and stuff like that cancer is a sensitive and nurturing sign so again furthering the importance of self-care during this new moon so it invites us to retreat from the external demands and seek solace within our emotions while the energy may feel uncertain it also offers an opportunity for spiritual emotional physical and psychological renewal encouraging us to nurture ourselves and embrace the potential for personal growth in terms of practicality the new moon suggests a fresh start and the opportunity to set intentions for the upcoming lunar cycle this is excellent time to reflect on your goals and how you can plan to start or continue to manifest them from a spiritual perspective the new moon represents a time of inner growth it is a chance to connect with your intuition and delve deep into your emotions nurturing your spiritual well-being this is a time to release any negative energy and to create a space of positive vibrations or at least you know just trying to be a bit more optimistic or practical in your outlook and thinking of solutions to your problems rather than just challenging them from an esoteric standpoint the new mini cancer indicates a period of emotional healing and nurturing it suggests that taking care of yourself physically and emotionally during this time is essential the void of course phase emphasizes the need for stillness and reflection before moving forward astrologically as the moon moves into the constellation of leo further on a couple of hours after the new moon is exact it brings a vibrant energy that radiates confidence creativity and self-expression this is a time to embrace your passions and shine your unique light into the world this energy of the moon going into leo encourages you to step into leadership roles and assert yourself with courage and authenticity so in summary because this is the short version you know the long versions come in um, the new moon on august 16th holds significance and immense importance on multiple levels it gives us a chance of practical planning spiritual growth emotional healing as well as astrological empowerment as you start or continue a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement as the new moon approaches take time to sit in quiet contemplate and envision what you want to manifest into your life even if things seem bleak and you feel like you can never get what you want just try what 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 are your deepest desires what's your wildest dreams allow yourself to dream big and believe that anything is possible because that's what leo energy is all about so and the sun's about to go into leo tomorrow as well so you know so write down your intentions on a piece of paper or in your journal infusing them with positive energy and sincere intention visualize yourself living the life you desire feeling the joy and fulfillment that comes with achieving your goals trust in the power of the universe to support you in manifesting these intentions during this introspective period it's important to prioritize nurturing your body and engaging in activities that bring you you know calmness serenity and peace so whether it's practicing yoga meditating or going for a long walk in nature find ways to restore and recharge yourself as the moon moves into leo embrace its vibrant energy tap into your inner courage and let your creativity flow freely this is a time to step forward with confidence and showcase your unique talents into the world embrace leadership roles assert yourself authentically and let your light shine brightly 
So now I'm going to talk about the new moon in Void of Course in Cancer more deeply, starting with the aspects. So yeah, as I said in the intro, the new moon sort of like happens at 10.38, then also at 10.38 the moon goes Void of Course. So at the time of the new moon, it makes a conjunction to the moon and the sun to Venus, which is separating. Then the moon and the sun uh, make a square to Uranus, which is also separating, and the moon and sun trine Chiron, which is also separating, and the moon and the sun makes a uh, trine to the moon's north node, which is a point. It isn't actually a physical um, body in the sky. It's, it's an astrological calculation, and this is applying. So the conjunction of the moon and sun, which is the new moon, always brings emotional depth and intensity to our lives. During this time, we have to pay attention to our feelings and emotions as they can guide us towards a greater sense of self-awareness and personal growth if we work towards it. It's important to keep in mind that this period period can also bring up repressed emotions and unresolved issues that you need to you know look into so you can move forward it's necessary to remain aware of any negative emotions that may come up during this time so you can you know address them healthily and productively the conjunction of the sun and moon to venus brings harmony and love so this helps you you know tap into yourself and your emotions and accept the feelings of yours and others more willingly be more you know open to dealing with them it allows us to find harmony in any conflicts or disagreements that come up so you know being able to cooperate and to compromise bringing a sense of warmth and reflection to relationships although it's a separating influence you know you will have to actively try to keep things calm if when arguments come on but there's some other supportive aspects that i'm going to talk about now that can help but the next one the sun and moon making square with Uranus can also you know add to the tension as it can bring unexpected changes and these changes are not necessarily negative they can be positive too so some of you may have sudden surprises and such and disruptions to your normal routine and some of these um, events may actually create opportunities for liberation and freedom from old patterns and limitations which the new moon is always about moving forward and the effect of this aspect will depend on how open and adaptable you are to change things, get out of your comfort zone and how you respond to them. It's good to stay grounded and centred and trust that everything is happening for your highest good right now. The trine of the moon and the sun to Chiron enables this emotional healing and also brings a sense of compassion and understanding, helping us connect with our emotions on a deeper level. However, it's important to know that this aspect is in a quick fix to all the problems that come up today or to you know healing your psychological spiritual and emotional wounds either it can be a long and challenging process because it's essential to take time to work through your emotions as you know having repressed feelings can be detrimental to your overall well-being and just respect your day-to-day -day life from how you interact with yourself and others in your career and stuff so you know overall the trying of the moon and the sun to chiron is a positive influence and the sun and the moon also making a trying to the north node as well which you know gives us the energy to you know sort of like have more ease and flow in fulfilling our soul's purpose right now the north node represents our soul purpose and the direction we are meant to uh, move in. and if you don't believe in the soul sort of thing just think of it your highest purpose or the best life that you can live so it helps us focus on you know our personal growth and self-improvement but on the negative end, this influence can make us self sabotage ourselves or be resistant to changing things um, at this time. Um, so we just, you know, you just need to be aware of this and you know just try and be flexible right now. Also, at the time of this new moon, there's a grand trine and a three point stellium between Mars, Pluto, and Uranus, and also the conjunction between the moon sun and venus is called the three point stellium so i'm just going to talk a bit more deeper about that and just to remember that void of course applies to the moon in terms of the aspects it makes so yeah just to clear that up so not any of the other luminaries like the sun mars pluto or uranus so 
Mars and Pluto and Uranus are in a grand trine with a 20% or tightness, so it's not exactly, you know, it's potent enough. So a grand trine in astrology is like a celestial high five where three planets form a harmonious sort of like triangle in the sky. It's like the universe saying to you, hey, you've got this. So yeah, a grand triumph brings together different energies and creates a powerful flow of good vibes. Think of it as the astrological equivalent of winning the lottery, except instead of money, you get an abundance of creativity, confidence and opportunity. But trying energy needs to be applied because a lot of people who have trines in their natal chart, although it says, you know, you should have this wonderful life with trines, trines energies have to apply. So a lot of people with trines actually, not saying they're lazy, but don't apply themselves because things come easy to them in some ways. So bear in mind that you have to, you know, intentionally, and that's what the new moon is all about, setting intentions to not only think good things, but practically do them as well. So as this grand trine that's formed between Mars, Pluto and Uranus creates a dynamic energy flow that intertwines Mars' individualistic drive, Pluto's transformative power and Uranus's revolutionary force. We can use Mars is assertiveness and action to make bold steps towards, you know, setting and reaching our goals. And Pluto's influence of regeneration and rebirth encourages us to let go of old patterns and embrace new beginnings. As I said, the new moon's all about that. Uranus, you know, is the planet of innovation and upheaval, adds a touch of unpredictability to this grand trine, but it supports breakthroughs, which can be both exciting and challenging. During the new moon in Cancer, these energies um, can manifest in the realm of emotions and relationships, prompting you to seek greater authenticity and freedom in your connections with others and how you put yourself out there into the world. So, in summary of this grand trine, Mars brings assertive and potential disruptive force to the trine, while Pluto adds intensity and transformative energy. Uranus introduces a sense of rebellion and sudden change. It's necessary to approach this energy with caution and avoid making impulsive decisions and taking hasty actions. Instead, use this energy to help you reflect, reassess and gather information before making any major changes in your life or commitments. Also, there's a three-point stellium, as I said earlier, with Sun, Venus and um, the Moon <laughs> in the conjunction. So I'm just going to talk about that a bit more depth, what that means. So a stellium is what happens when three or more planets come together they're either typically in the same zodiac sign or sometimes they can be in different zodiac signs depending on like an orb and the orb for conjunctions range from 8 to 10 degrees in astrology but at the time of this new moon all three the moon sun and venus are actually in the constellation of cancer with the moon sort of being transient between leo and cancer at this time but the sun and the moon are firmly in cancer so because cancer is associated with intuition and nurturing and emotions and you know sometimes moody emotions on the flip side and um, the focus is firmly on how our feelings are in our relationships right now self-expression is increased with the sun and venus um, joining forces in this stellium there may be an extra focus on nurturing ourselves and others and exploring deep emotional topics and conversations right now and with Venus in the midst themes of love, beauty and harmony are strongly emphasised right now. This stellium encourages us or helps us to find balance within our relationships and seek out genuine connections that nurture our emotional well-being. It invites us to align our actions and desires with our core values creating an environment of authenticity and compassion but because this combination of planetary energies intensify our emotions heightened sensitivity and at this time the moon is between cancer and leo so you know wanting to nurture ourselves and others but also put ourselves out there can be egotistical behavior so it's like you know half and half so this can amplify feelings of vulnerability and provoke instability in personal relationships plus the presence of venus within this stellium may also aggravate bring up 
uncomfortable feelings or issues related to self-worth and love potentially leading to conflicts or misunderstandings within relationships especially romantic or committed ones to reduce these adverse effects practicing mindfulness and self-care during this time is advisable engaging in activities that promote relaxation and inner pride such as meditation or spending time in nature um, can help soothe any heightened emotions and restore balance it's also essential to communicate openly and honestly with loved ones during this phase by expressing your feelings and concerns you can create understanding and prevent misunderstandings from escalating into larger conflicts Ultimately, Distelium encourages us to dive into the depths of our inner world, uncovering hidden truths and embracing vulnerability. By addressing challenges head on, we can work towards healing and growth. Okay, so now I'm going to talk more about the saving degrees that happen at the time of the new moon on the 16th of August. So the moon and sun are in the 30th degree of Cancer. And um, with the moon sort of like void of course there and the symbol um, for this degree is the daughter of the American Revolution which indicates a strong connection to you know patriotism of whatever country you live and ancestry this can bring a deep sense of loyalty and dedication towards our roots right now and um, you know our traditions our culture our religions and stuff like that but it can also bring up situations of thoughts where you are made aware of your obsessive attachment to tradition or your trauma or what other people say in societal expectations conforming and stuff like that and why these things may be stunting your growth and adaptability furthermore the 30th degree of cancer rules the 12 thoracic vertebrae in the body so this you know backs up that this um, new moon is all about you know the impact of our emotions on our well-being so this supports the possibility of emotional healing and release and bringing to our consciousness the need to address any deep-seated emotional imbalances wounds psychological and spiritual trauma also however it's important to be cautious of becoming overly sentimental or dwelling on past hurts at this time on the other hand, the North Node is in the fourth degree of Aries, brings um, with it the saving symbol of two lovers strolling through secluded walk, representing a sense of romance and passion. So this energy encourages us to take bold steps towards our personal desires and embrace new beginnings, but also supports healing in our relationships and coming together, whether it's a friendship or a hookup or intimate relationship. But it's also um, good to keep in mind that right now, a balance between being impulsive and thoughtfulness needs to be taken, ensuring that actions are driven by genuine emotions rather than fleeting desires. So this is especially in casual hookup sort of relationships. Just make sure, you know, you're not saying things like, oh, I love you again, swept up in the romance of it all and your feelings and your responses are actually what you want to make right now. Additionally, the fourth degree of Aries controls the pineal gland, which is sort of like um, responsible for regulating sleep patterns and spiritual experiences as well, sometimes called the third eye. So this suggests that some of you may experience an uh, opening of consciousness and a heightened sort of like spiritual awareness during this time. So for some of you, it would just be a you know, rationalisation, especially if you're more left-brained, or, you know, it could potentially, you know, just be some kind of um, spiritual awakening experience that you um, have right now. And just remember that um, on the spiritual path, that it's normal to go through many of these sort of like consciousness awakenings. But as always, it's crucial to nurture this connection to the higher realms while also grounding yourself in practicality and reality as well. So in summary, the saving symbols associated with the new moon on the 16th of August 
give us sort of like um, a mixed sort of bag. On one hand, there is a strong emphasis on ancestry, loyalty and emotional healing. On the other hand, there is a call for embracing passion, new beginnings and increasing your spiritual awareness. So it's a delicate balance between honouring the past and stepping into the future. The symbolism of the 12th of Etic vertebrae reminds us to address any emotional imbalances we may have. It signals an opportunity for healing and releasing deep-seated emotions, which kind of is the theme of this new moon between Cancer and Leo, and, um, you know, letting go of things that are holding us back. We have to be cautious not to become overly attached to things that we need to let go of and not dwell too much on past hurts because this can block us. This is a time to acknowledge our emotional wounds and work towards healing them while um, allowing ourselves to move forward rather than staying stuck in them. This is also a powerful time to tap into your artistic talents, using them to heal yourselves or share your unique gifts with the world, whether it's through painting, dancing, writing or any other creative you know, expression. You are encouraged to let your emotions out as well as allow your passage to sign and embrace the courage to express yourself um, authentically which you know the moon going into Leo and the sun going into Leo tomorrow helps and amplifies and the energy of the new moon always lasts for at least two weeks but it's also important to remember that with great power comes great responsibility the influence of the triphoretic vertebrae doing that again the influence of the triphoretic vertebrae reminds us to act from a place of emotional balance and integrity when we connect with our emotions and express ourselves authentically it's crucial to do so in a way that respects the feelings and boundaries of others the call for taking more time to think about you know the deeper meaning spiritual things of life reminds us to approach our creative expression and plans with a sense of mindfulness and compassion it is a delicate balance between embracing our passions and honoring the past we are also um, reminded of the transformative power of self-reflection, taking time to acknowledge and heal our emotional wounds, allow us to grow and evolve as individuals. Through this emotional healing process, we can release any lingering pain or baggage that stops our progress. So starting to sum this up now, the new moon void of course between Cancer and Leo calls for us to think of the emotional impact of our life choices and situations. The Moon and Sun conjunction and the trine aspects with Chiron and the North Node suggests a time for healing, personal growth and moving forwards towards your destiny. However, the square aspect with Uranus could create sudden and unexpected changes leading to instability and unpredictability. Venus's um, separation from the conjunction may also bring some challenges in relationships and creative expression. So it's important to acknowledge and prepare for these aspects to navigate through this new moon's energies and make the most out of this time for personal growth and development. The new moon also has significant worldly, materialistic, mundane, political implications. On the worldly level, there is a potential to influence political dynamics and power struggles right now the cancer and energy emphasizes emotional security and the need for stability prompting leaders and decision makers to prioritize nurturing their constituents needs you know the people that governs needs policies emphasizing social welfare healthcare and family support may take central stage and you know we are in the cost of living crisis and everything's a bit unstable right now and astrologically if we look back towards the 1920s and 29s and 30s um, where there was a great depression that cycle's coming around again so i say this not to you know to say i'll be flippant but just to keep in mind that over the next five to ten years 15 years potentially there's going to be a lot of economic instability and all we can do is do our best you know if you can save a penny save a penny if you can save a pound save a pound but try and save stores try and adjust your living the season show us that there's a time for everything there's a time to laugh there's a time to go out and splash the cash and there's a time to save so just if you can try to save try and utilize charities like food banks and stuff don't feel the same to ask for help you know we all need help throughout this life and just try and do your best to be happy for what you have 
in your life and be grateful for what you have but also prepare as much as you can so for some of you it's saving that penny a day that 20 pence that 10 pence or 10 15 cents or you know whatever the amounts in your currency for some of you it's saving that 10 pounds it's not going out three nights a week it's going out one for some of you it's not going out at all for some of you it's going out socializing you know on the last as we call it in the uk once a month you know just try it you know for some of you it's not changing your car every year anymore for some of you it's taking public transport for some of you you know getting rid of your car especially if you live in london and stuff maybe the best for you yeah you know we all want to floss and stun and be bougie but sometimes the best sort of bougie is preparing for your future and your family's future so just keep that in mind because the cancerian energy encourages a focus on emotional security and you know physical material stability as well the country's leaders and you as an individual should prioritize you know your well-being as well as the moon shifts into leo people may be more assertive and dramatic in their energy so you know can lead you to you know frivolously spend and just be a bit reckless with your money and resources so just watch out for that leaders may also become more ambitious and eager to display their charisma and influence rather than taking well planned out steps they may take bold actions and make grand gestures to gain recognition and you know sort of like solidify their power rather than saying what really the truth is so you know we will always promise things are going to get better every election and stuff like that making promises that they don't keep so just be careful of what you buy into whether it be from your government from your community from your friends family just be careful about what things people are saying and what you believe and commit to because people can make promises they cannot keep there can also be a polarization of opinions among the public and friends and some may admire you know the comfort and assertiveness of people right now while others may view any grand displays right now as egotistical or self-centered the social impact repercussions of the cancer leo void of course new moon may bring an increased sense of competition in all areas of our life people may feel stronger to assert themselves and seek attention which can have both positive and negative outcomes as i said before for some this new moon could bring a time of great opportunities and success the leo energy can push our ambitious drive giving us the confidence to sign and make our mark on the world while as increasing our productivity innovation and um, pushing ourselves to excel but as i said it can also breed a sense of rivalry and cutthroat um sort of like environments where people may step on others to get ahead so it's necessary to stay mindful of egotistical tendencies or obsessive self-centeredness moodiness you know cancer kind of energy involved during this period in relationships the interplay between cancer's nurturing energy and leo's boldness can bring a dynamic mix as well as i mentioned earlier there may be a desire for both intimacy and recognition leading individuals to crave affection and attention from their partners while also seeking admiration and validation outside of the relationship to just watch out for that as well positively this can spark passionate displays of love and grand gestures with individuals going to great lengths to express their feelings and make their loved ones feel special date nights may become more extravagant with candlelight dinners and surprise gifts becoming the norm but keep in mind that the heightened desire for attention and recognition can also lead to ego classes and power struggles within relationships as i said earlier people should communicate openly and honestly ensuring that their emotional needs and desires for validation are met overall the new moon on august the 16th presents an intriguing cosmic interplay between cancer's nurturing energy and leo's boldness it invites us to explore the delicate balance between self-expression and the needs of others the shift from cancer to leo brings a dynamic change in the way we approach power dynamics and personal ambitions as well now i'm just going to end with some spiritual and psychological questions that you may want to ask yourself during the new moon in cancer and stroke leo void of course on the august the 16th so questions like what emotional patterns or old wounds do i need to release in order to move forward on my spiritual journey or life's journey 
how can I nurture and heal my inner child so that I may experience greater emotional well-being and fulfillment? What areas of my life require more compassion and understanding towards myself and others? How can I create a safe space and supportive environment for my own and others' emotional healing and growth? And what steps can I take to deepen my connection with my intuition and trust the guidance it provides me on my path? So yeah, that's the end of this special on the void of course leo cancer or cancer leo however you want to pull it new moon on the 16th of august take care and see you next time